Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Beth Erickson, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is home to many different birds. If you had to pick a favorite bird to represent the state, what would you choose? American woodcock, ring-necked pheasant, bob white quail. Bob is a great name for a bird. <laughs> Little has been recorded about its selection, but we do know that the bill to select the state game bird was being considered by the legislature at the same time as they were selecting the state tree. On June 22, 1931, the ruffed grouse was adopted as the official state game bird of Pennsylvania. The official state tree was also adopted on that day, but we'll talk about that another time. Ruffed grouse are often referred to as Pennsylvania's state bird, not as the state game bird. But as a game bird, ruffed grouse may be hunted in the wild for sport or for food. A member of the order Galliformes, ruffed grouse have plump, pear-shaped bodies, rounded wings and heads, and small bills. Ruffed grouse are native to Pennsylvania and are part of Pennsylvania's history. In the late 1600s, William Penn was so astonished by the bounty found in Penn's woods that he granted settlers the liberty to fowl and hunt all animals, including the ruffed grouse, which provided settlers with an abundant food source. Unfortunately, years of hunting and land clearing for agriculture resulted in the loss of the multiple aged forest habitat that ruffed grouse need, causing a grouse population decline. Today, restoration programs support a statewide grouse population recovery. So you might wonder, why is the grouse named ruffed? What does that word mean? In the 15 and 1600s, men and women wore a stiffly starched circular collar called a ruff or a ruffed collar. So the word ruffed in the grouse's name refers to its neck feathers that are more prominent on the male and when combined with a fully fanned tail, make him look twice his normal size. So he looks more intimidating to other males and more appealing to an interested hen. Aggressively territorial, a male ruffed grouse will defend about six to 10 acres of forest, usually shared with one or two hens. And they have a unique way of communicating with other grouse. They drum. To proclaim his territory, a male grouse will stand on a log like a stage rotating his wings forward and backward against the air to create a distinctive deep thumping or drumming sound. The drumming occurs throughout the year but becomes more frequent in the spring as the male advertises his location to females and warns away other males. A female ruffed grouse will make a nest in the leaf litter for about 9 to 10 eggs, often at the base of a tree. Ruffed grouse chicks are precocial, meaning they are ready to leave the nest and start feeding themselves shortly after hatching. Grouse mature quickly, finding their own territory at about 18 weeks old. As omnivores, ruffed grouse eat a variety of foods, including flower buds, green leaves, fruits, and insects. They can even digest bitter, often toxic plants that other birds can't such as the buds of quaking aspen, a major wintertime food source for ruffed grouse. Ruffed grouse are year-round Pennsylvania residents, so the next time you're out in Penn's woods, look for our state game bird, the ruffed grouse, out showing off his ruff, or listen for him drumming to protect his territory. I hope you enjoyed learning about the ruffed grouse and its selection as the official state game bird of Pennsylvania. For more, visit our webpage.